Hello friends, welcome back. My name is Priyantra Kumar. In this video, you will learn how to create a dynamic chart with a scroller. So as you are seeing my screen, I have created this chart. So let me show you the data of this chart first. Here in the data sheet, I have the data date wise, sales forecast and revenue. And I have data from 1st of Jan till 30th of April which means I have 120 data points. So it is difficult to display all dates at a time in a chart. So what I have done here, I'm just displaying only 10 dates. You can see it is from 1st March to 10th of March. And I have added a scroller here. You can scroll your chart and the date will be changed to the right side or to the left side. And if you will move this to the end, then you can see it is displaying the data till 30th April 2019. And here, if I will move to the starting point, then you can see it is displaying the data from 1st of Jan 2019 to 10th of Jan. Here I have displayed revenue in this area chart, forecast in this gray color and the sales is in black column. So I'll tell you how can you create this chart in Microsoft Excel. It is very useful whenever you want to display your multiple data points and it is not adjustable in your chart. You can use this scroller there. Now I will add a new worksheet. So just click on this plus button to add a new worksheet and we will create our chart from the starting here. So first of all, what I will do, I'll insert a scroll bar. So I'll go to the developer tab, then I will go to the insert and here I'll go to the form controls. Under form controls, you can see the scroll bar is available. Just click on this and just drag it here like this. Now I'll go to the view and first of all, I would like to remove the grid lines from the worksheet. So just uncheck the grid lines, right click on this scroll bar, go to the format control and here we will take minimum value as one and maximum value you can take according to your data points. All right. So let's say for the time being here, I'm taking 200, then incremental change, we will keep only one cell link just click in this and we will link it let's say we are taking here n1 you can link it with any cell and just click on ok now you can see on the n1 it is displaying the current value of the scroll bar so we have put the minimum value as one that means it is on the extreme left side if i will click once here then it will be two I will click again then three if I will keep clicking then you can see the number will be changed all right now I'll go to the data sheet and here I will copy this header and then I'll go to the sheet one again and I will paste this header here and now we will use a formula here we will use the index function I'll use index then I'll go to the data and here I will give this range which is a to a comma I'll come to the seat one and here I will select this scroll bar value which is N1. I will press F4 to freeze this and just press enter. Now I will change the date format. If I will keep it on extreme left, then it is just displaying as date. That means it is taking the first row because we have taken a scroll bar value from one. So what we need to do we have to add here one plus one then it will give you the first date if i will click on a scroll bar then it will display second date third date all right now if we will fill this down then the second date will not change and we have to manually add here two then similarly here three i'll tell you one shortcut here you don't need to add one two manually let me delete this and then here in place of adding one, I will use the row formula. I'll tell you what the row formula will return. Let me put the row formula separately first. I'll use row and here I will give the reference. Let's say this a1 and just close the bracket. So you can see it is returning one. If you will fill this down, so it is returning two, three. We will use this formula there. So here in place of one, I will use row 
then i will give this reference a1 you can give any reference make sure you are giving the reference at row 1 only all right so you can give a1 b1 c1 whatever you want so i'm just giving a1 and just close the bracket press enter now i will copy this formula and paste this here first then fill this down we will take only 10 days if you want to take 15 days or entire month you can take that one so as of now i'm just taking 10 days now i will copy the format from here or i will use the format printer so i'll go to the home format printer come back to the seat one select this range the same format will be applied now you can see the scroll is on the extreme left side and the data is first to 10 if i will click once here then it is displaying the first date as second gen last date 11 it is getting changed all right now we will create a chart using this data so just select this data go to the insert charts and we will insert a simple 2d column chart this one keep this chart here first of all just click on this column right click and go to the chain series chart type and here for revenue we will keep the area chart this one and we will select on this secondary axis and just click on ok our chart will look like this and change the chart size as per your requirement like this we will remove the grid lines from the chart then just select this area right click go to the format data series here go to the fill and line fill and we will select the pattern fill and i'll select the first one the foreground color i'll take black background color i'll take this gold accent 4 you can take any other color also whatever you want to take now we will make some changes in these two series also sales and forecast right click and go to the format data series we will make some changes in gap bit and series overlap also we'll keep around 40 and gap bit around 150 now i will select the forecast column then i'll go to the fill solid fill and here i will fill this gray color then i will select the sales column and i will fill the solid fill and will take this black color so our chart is ready now we can change it using this slicer now we will keep this slicer on the chart so what i will do i'll click here and will select this plot area and from the bottom i'll change the plot area size like this and i will move this legend also here then i will move this scroll bar on the chart but it is going behind of this chart so what i will do right click on the chart and just click on send to back now if i will move this scroll bar here then it will be above the chart now you can change the size now select this scroll bar and chart together right click and make this group now you can see this is a complete chart you can change the chart title and you can change the border also just select the chart go to the format and shape outline you can take black and make the vertical axis horizontal axis bold and black like this legend also and you can put your chart title whatever you want to put all right friends so that is how you can create this chart now if you want to hide this support data you can hide it so simply just select these four column you can press ctrl 0 to hide this but as soon as you will hide you can see no data available on the chart so what i will do i will select this chart right click and then i will go to the select data and here i will click on this button which is hidden and empty cells and then i will select here this checkbox which is show data in hidden rows and columns and click on ok ok so you can see our chart is available here all right friends so that is how you can create this i'm just keeping this unhide so that you can see the formula i will give the download link in video's description box you can download this file from my website to practice this Alright friends, I hope you have enjoyed this video. Friends, if you like this video, please hit the like button and please subscribe my channel to get the regular update of my videos. Thank you so much for watching.